Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front grill on this 2004 Dodge Ram, same as any 02 to 08. Uh, on this vehicle, we run into some rusty fasteners, so we show you how to get around those. Tools you'll need are 8 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, uh, actually, or just an 8 millimeter wrench will work on this too. Uh, vice grips if your fasteners are rusty like ours were, and some adhesive for the emblem. Okay, so in this video we're going to show you grill replacement. Uh, you can see new grill from 1A Auto, uh, exact same as the old one. We'll just you know, help you out. If you do want to replace your grill with a new one from 1A Auto, over time these ones will fade out. Uh, and also obviously a little bit of front end damage can ruin your grill. So you know you can get a good one from 1A Auto if you need one. It's a pretty easy procedure. I'm going to use a little bit of penetrating oil. Okay, this helps get those nuts off, but as you'll see in this, um, they actually end up pulling out of the grill and not loosening themselves anyways, but maybe this will help you. Okay, 8 millimeter socket, ratchet with extension. Okay, so what should happen here is those nuts should just come right off their metal studs, um, but the metal studs usually rust, and on this vehicle what ends up happening is all the, uh, the nuts come off a little ways, and then the studs just kind of turn out of the grill, um, and you may find this happens, and it's not a big deal. You just kind of pull the grill off. Uh, also, you can see me uh, doing the 8 millimeter bolts down at the bottom of the grill. Um, pretty easy. Those usually come right out. And we'll pick it back up again as I release the uh, last couple of top bolts. What happened here is these studs came out of the grill because it was easier to move the metal from the plastic than the metal nuts that are on the back. Uh, so hopefully your um, penetrating oil treatment might have prevented that, but if not, um, a pair of vice grips. Clamp on. And usually they come without too much trouble, especially if you've given them a lot of uh, penetrating oil and let them sit for a little bit. So you want to make sure you remove all of those and save the nuts for the new grill. So before I put the new grill on, I actually cleaned up this and I actually put a coat of wax on there. And then the new grill. Got a couple locating pins that go in. Make sure it's going okay. And I am going to fast forward again as I just uh, start by hand all the different fasteners. Um, then I get my 8 millimeter socket and ratchet and extension out and tighten them all up. 
and then after that you're going to want to also transfer over your emblem which I will show you in just a minute I'm going to get our RAM logo off. A really small, sharp screwdriver here. Okay, and you'll notice I go in there with two screwdrivers. Uh, that's because, and I'll kind of say so later in the video, but um, there's the outside chrome ring, and then the black part inside is is somewhat a different piece. So with one, one screwdriver, you want to start the outer chrome piece. And then with the other screwdriver, you kind of reach in there and get that black um, part of the uh, emblem as well. And you want to make sure you don't pry too hard on the chrome ring around it. You want to get in there underneath the black before you really start prying. Okay, so there are two parts you have to get both this chrome around, then you have to pry in underneath and get the black part as well. Okay, now as far as putting the logo back on, um, just follow the instructions of whatever you might use for adhesive. I'm going to use some trim adhesive, which requires a clean surface, but you also want some surface area to hold on to. So I'm just going to lightly scratch this chrome area because it's actually a little too smooth for adhesive to grab onto. And there's our new grill with our emblem and everything all attached. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.